Let's dive a little bit deeper right now into all of the market action with our reporters. Abigail, get us started. You know, Ramin, I'm thinking about the choppy trading that you all are talking about for the S&P 500 in the month of August, truly in the third quarter as well. The S&P 500 stuck right between its 50-day and its 200-day moving averages, telling you that the near-term buyers don't have a lot of conviction. The long-term buyers maybe a little bit more, but let's look back to the last year to see what this has meant. Now, during the volatility of early 2018, once the S&P 500 went below that 50-day moving average, it really couldn't get out of its own way, testing the 200 day uh, several times. And then finally in the summer, taking the stairs higher to new all time highs. The volatility of the fourth quarter came once below that 50 day moving average. The floor fell out below the 200 day moving average. An interesting case back in May, that choppiness that we saw then around trade, we see that the 50 day moving average did not hold. The 200 day moving average briefly sliced. Right now, again, in between the two averages, this chart probably suggests more choppy trading ahead, days of risk on risk off probably though at least a test of some sort of that 200 day moving average ahead Renita for the S&P 500. Thanks Abigail. I'm taking a look at the British sterling versus the US dollar which is falling versus the US dollar all happening after German Chancellor Angela Merkel said that Germany prefers an orderly Brexit but is prepared for a no deal. What's also beating up on the pound France saying that it sees a no deal Brexit as the most likely outcome. Now the British pound has been on a pretty steady decline versus the US dollar for much of the year. However Tom Thornton hedge fund tele telemetry founder said earlier today on charting futures that the British pound may be bottoming out. 